Well, we're not as concerned, at least on a 12-month basis. I mean, uh, European equities are, in fact, our most preferred uh, equity market by region. And we think it's a combination of the fact that, uh, yes, data is weak, but I think markets have finally pushed the central bank to act. Uh, and to us, that is really key, that if we do see some of these measures really begin to take some effect, potentially see more measures from the ECB, we think that may help support uh, not only you know the region's economy, but also the region's financial markets. Uh, so yes, there are risks. Uh, they have not gone away. But for us, you know, we still think those are uh, well priced into markets and, and, and the price offers an attractive opportunity to enter at these levels. Well, the next big big one is the obvious one. I think it's it's really you know uh, when the Fed's likely to first raise interest rates, uh, and that's really what you know most of the market conversation is centered on. Uh, markets are still pricing in about a third uh, quarter or to late sort of 2015 initial rate hike, uh, but we think markets are a little too sanguine. Uh, you know, we think there's a real risk the first rate hike could come sooner. Um, but uh, at the end of the day, for, a, for from an investment perspective, uh, you know, we think that poses the risk of a short-term wobble in markets, particularly when those expectations are reset. But fundamentally to us, if the Fed's raising rates, that's most probably because the U.S. economy is doing well. And that's why we look at it positively uh, outside of any short-term volatility.